mae cael tatw wedi dod yn boblogaidd iawn dros y ddegaw diwethaf. Beth mae cael tatw yn ei olygu? So, um, tattooing is basically um, inserting ink into the skin. Um, and to do that, we use a series of needles on the end of a needle bar, and um, it goes to the top layer of skin just before the, uh, the fatty layer. And um, yeah, it stays in that layer of skin. On Dorothy Boblo Groith Kyle Tattoo Gunnathy, Vesli Hevid Kavoid Kaneth or Ran Tattoos Anga Vreithlon. Tatu ang y Vreithlon yw unrhyw waith tatu a wneir gan rhywun nad yw wedi gofrestru ar awdurdod lleol maent yn gweithredu ynddo. Ac mae'n ang y Vreithlon i unrhyw un rhoi tatu ar berson ifanc sy'n iau na 18 mlwydd oed, hyd yn oed a chaniatad ei rhieni. Mae pryderon cynyddol am artistiau tatu ang y Vreithlon a elwyr yn grafwyr sy'n sefydlu busnesau anghofestredig ac yn denu cwsmeriad drwy gynnig amseroedd aros byr a phrysiau rhad. I think you'll find most of the, um, the difference will come in inequality of equipment. Quite a lot of the time you'll find a lot of the needles are blunt, which is going to cause trauma to the skin. Um, the machines do not run correctly. Again, it's going to cause um, sort of more pain and increased risks of, of damage in the skin. So. Prin yw profiad crafwyr o wneud tatws a sut i'w wneud yn gywir. Maent yn aml yn rhoi tatw ar bobl mewn ystafell weli, cegyn neu shed yn yr ardd ac yn defnyddio cyfarpar ac inciau i safonol. Bydd dewis defnyddio crafwyr yn golygu y byddwch yn fwy tebygol o gael tatw o ansawdd gwael sy'n boenus ac sy'n peri mwy o risg i chi o gael haint a dioddef problemau iechyd eraill o herwydd a'u harferion a niogel anhylan. Bydd tatwydd cofestredig yn rhoi gofal cwsmeriaid da. Mae cael tatw yn boenus, ond bydd tatwydd cofestredig yn sicrhau bod y gwaith yn cael ei wneud mor gyffordus a phosibl. So, first of all, I'm going to give you a little line just to let you know what it's going to feel like. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be sharp, yeah. so just try and stay as still as you can but like I say keep breathing don't worry that I'm pushing on your stomach just breathe as normal mm -hmm. I'll, I'll end up flowing with you Nid oes gan grafwyr angyfreithlon amrofiadol y sgiliau i ddefnyddio'r peiriant y tŵ yn gywir ac yn aml byddant yn gor wneud pethau gan falu'r croen ac achosi poen a gwaed i dwys One of the uh, major problems with, um, with tattooing at the moment is people who are completely inexperienced in tattooing and obviously you are essentially uh, performing minor surgery and you could end up overworking the skin which obviously creates um, a lot of heavy scabbing which then can lead to infection. Um, I think before you have a tattoo it's important to know the risks of having a tattoo. Um, there are many and varied and some can be more extensive than others. Um, you could have a skin reaction to the tattoo which could mean an infection. Um, there's also a risk of bloodborne diseases. A particular case that I've, we've been dealing with um, is a lady that's had a tattoo um, that has been infected and there was a query whether there's an allergy or an infection. Um, we think that it potentially is a contaminated ink um, that's caused this infection. She's been having treatment now for uh, nearly uh, two months. She's still going through treatment. She's had two lots of surgery. Um, she's had numerous amount of antibiotics and is now um, had the tissue in the whole of the area and surrounding area of the tattoo removed. And she's had to have a skin graft taken off her thigh to cover that area. Are all Kyle tattoo os ydych yn dioddef o unrhyw un o'r symptomau canlynol, teimlo'n sâl, a thymheredd uchel, croen coch, septig lle mae'r tatw, dylech gysylltu a'ch meddyg teulu i gael cyngor a thryniaeth ar unwaith. Yn ogystal â heintiau bacterol, mae cael tatw yn peri risg o gael feirws a glidir yn y gwaed fel hepatitis B, hepatitis C a HIV. Gall y fyrasau hyn achosi afiech y difrifol, a all fod yn angeiol, a gellir eu trosglwyddo i'ch corff os yw'r cyfarpar a ddefnyddir wrth gael tatw wedi hynaintio a gwaed rhywun arall. Mae hyn yn bryder penodol o ran tatwyddion angyfreithlon, 
oherwydd ar y cyfan bydd gan fynd arferion hylendid gwael a safleoedd brunt. Ar y llaw arall, dylai tatwydd cofrestredig gyd ymffurfio a safonau hylendid uchel. I think one of the, the main differences is obviously the work area that we use is specifically designed for tattooing. Um, we make sure every single um, surface is cleaned down correctly and is washable. There are no porous surfaces, you know, on with regards to the chairs, um, re- armrests, and, and obviously the, the, the work area. If you are getting tattooed in someone's house, the likelihood is there will be spillages and there will be splashes, and um, you could then um, sort of pass blood onto carpets, wallpaper, furniture, and um, the next person then sit on that could obviously um, come into contact with that blood, and that um, is, a, is a point of cross contamination. Beth os bydd yn newid fy meddwl? Mae tatws yn barhaol. Mae cael gwared a thatw yn ddrud iawn, gall fod yn boenus, gymryd llawer o amser a gall adael creithiau. Nid oes unrhyw sicrwydd y bydd y driniaeth i gael gwared a thatw yn llwyddiannus, a gall eich gadael chi wedi eich anffurfio. Um, I did look into having laser treatment. It's very expensive. Um... And it wasn't a guarantee that they could remove it. It was very thick and dark. So I was basically just put it to the back of my mind. I thought, oh, it was going to be there forever. Um, it wasn't until me and my husband decided to get married that I said, I really want to do something about it. I don't, I want to wear a dress that I can show everything off. So that's when I started looking into other things. Um, I was told that a friend of mine had a tattoo taken off. Basically, they tattooed back into your skin with, it looks like, foundation. Um, and it reacts to the ink and brings the ink to the surface. I had that done and I had a reaction to the stuff that they put into my arm. I ended up with cellulitis. My arm was very swollen and all like saggy and puffy with all the ink had gone and sagged. So I was on antibiotics and... Um, it was really so dry, scabby. Does dim tata i datus. Rhai di chi fod dros indigwyth mlwydd oed. Uh, my first tattoo, I was 17. You you have these sort of impulsive decisions to get a, a tattoo. You don't account for, obviously, when you're 17, you're still growing, you know. But as time's gone on and as I've done more training and just generally got bigger and wider, it's actually been a little bit dis- disproportionate now to match your body shape and size. Gwnewch eich gwaith ymchwil. Mae tatw yn barhaol, felly meddyliwch yn y falus iawn am ei leoliad. Fyth wyr o'i wonder on my ankle, so then is, if I can cover them up, if I don't want people to see them, and for jobs, I, I've made sure the one on my wrist is not too far down my arm, so it doesn't affect me in jobs when I'm older. Peidiwch byth a chael tatw ar ôl yfed alcohol neu gymryd cyffuriau. Dyl eich bob amser ddefnyddio tatwydd cofrestredig. Dim ond tatwyddion cofrestredig sy'n cael eu harchwylio gan y cyngor lleol. You don't really know until you go somewhere and have a look. So it started off with like basic research like that, like looking around, because you don't want to just go somewhere and say, yeah, I'll have that, and then have it, and then go, actually, it's not as good as I wanted it to be. It had loads of certificates, so you know that they're like registered, they're like a real shop, they're not just some random out of a van who's just gone and just started drawing on you. Um, they also like wore like a lot of gloves. The, the area which you get tattooed was separate, so you knew that none of the bits from the shop front could like be infected, affecting like any of the tools or anything. Um, they had loads of coverings on the chairs which they took off after each person, all like disposable needles and stuff which is really important and like disposable gloves. Dylai tatwyddion cofrestredig wneud y canlynol. Gofyn i chi lenwi holiadur meddygol. Siarad â chi am leoliad tatws a'r posibilrwydd y gallai tatw mewn man amriodol eich atal rhag cael rhai swyddi penodol. Gwisgo menig bob tro. Defnyddio nodwyddau ac inc dihaint newydd ar gyfer pob cwsmer a chyfarpar dihaint. A chyflaesterau golchi dwylo glân a ddefnyddir yn gywir ganddynt. Rhoi cyngor clir i chi o'r han sut i ofalu am eich tatw. 
Kovyuch. Dois dim tata i datus. Bydd dewis cael tatu gan gravur yn peri risg o gael haint a allai fod yn angeol. Mae rheswm pam fod tatu yddion angyfreithlon yn rhad. Efallai byddwch yn gorfod tal i pris llawer uwch o ran eich iechyd.